I'm here today with this com marker fiber laser. Um, hands down, this is my favorite laser now that I have. Uh, I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven lasers now and this is hands down my most favorite. Let me back out here a little now. There we go. So to control the elevation here, pardon the light, we don't have lighting in the garage, so I'm literally holding the light. To control your focal point, you just twist this and the head moves up and down. And then you have three dots that come down and they'll show you, you know, where your focal is and you bring them together, bring them together, bring them together. I'll show you that in a second. Um, ignore the power cord here. What else? So it does come with two lenses. It has one to do, I believe it's the 200 millimeter squared. The one I have it on right now is the 100 millimeter squared, so four inch by four inch roughly. The other's eight by eight roughly, basically what you see here. It also comes with this like dog collar thing. Um, you put this on there and attach it up to the head. There is a, an adapter thing that allows you to do that. You screw that on there and then you fasten that to that. Then what happens is you can actually take this off by this handle and you can use it on like large equipment or something. I think that's really cool. And then you've got, you know, a bit of cable there so you can move it around a little. But like say you needed to do a cargo container or you wanted to etch something on, I don't know, an engine or, or whatever. I, I'm sure you can figure out that stuff. So you have the emergency stop. You know, you have a few buttons here. You've got your power button. I will say you can probably see it. I've used it some. There's a, a bunch of schmoo on it from where I got some metal too hot. Just a cosmetic thing. That's my fault. That's not their fault. Um, what else? Yeah, I have a lens cap on there. That's why you see this dangling. To keep dust and stuff off of it, it comes with that. And then it comes with a little uh, assortment of odds and ends that you can test on. You get some rings, you get some aluminum cards, some like dog tags, some necklaces, and then a couple of circular pieces of some sort of steel. I think it's stainless, but yeah. It also comes with a ruler so you can help set the focal point for stuff. And yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and get some stuff going on here. We'll get you some nice GoPro footage of that in action, and then we'll take a look at the stuff we've lasered. So this is the Calm Marker B4. Uh, it's a 20 watt fiber laser. It'll do 0.3 millimeter max engraving depth, 0 0.001 millimeter precision. It has a 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter working area with one lens, like I said. If you have the other lens, it's 100 millimeters squared. Uh, it works with EasyCAD and Lightburn, and it'll do up to 15,000 millimeters a second, it says. Um, I haven't tested that. I, I don't even know how to realistically test that, but we'll, we'll assume it's correct. It's a, a Galvo, so I mean, in theory, it should be able to do that easily. Um, yeah, so here's some things I did. I've only done steel so far. I tinkered with aluminum, but mm, some anodized aluminum, but I don't have a lot, so I didn't want to mess around a whole bunch. I just wanted to get this video out because I really like this thing on steel. So. This is the first burns or engraves or what have you that I did. I just did some Beavis and Buttheads. Let's see if I can get the, to focus. I tried, you know, some small ones, some decent sized ones. And you can, I don't know if you can hear this, but there's definite texture there. So then, uh, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll know that that was done with an infrared laser and that these two were also done with infrared lasers, and they don't really show up. But then I did it with the fiber laser, and it's much, much deeper engraving. Like, your fingernail catches and skips. I mean, let you hear that. Hear that? Isn't that great? So it, it definitely 
gets much deeper than the infrared does. The infrared just like oxidizes the surface and that's not really what I want when I'm trying to mark my tools. But this fiber laser really cuts in there. This is that hand tool rescue wrench. So today, well, previously I'd also done this. If we can focus. There we go. Um, this was done at 3,000 millimeters a, I want to say minute. They say second in the manual. Lightburn says minute. So we're going to go with minute for this one. And again, it's very detailed, very in there. Today, I tried to do some more tests, and the first two were backwards. Somewhere between doing this stuff um, two weeks ago and then doing this today for this video, the XY got reversed or something. I had to go in Lightburn and change that setting. That's no fault of the laser. That's just something Lightburn did. So that's why these are backwards. Um, and then I figured it out. I was just testing because when I did my test pattern here, I noticed the text was backwards. But I just did a uh, 15 by 15 test here with, let me see, 10% to 100% with the 15 inch, uh, step increments and then 600 millimeters a minute to 20,000 millimeters a minute, just to kind of get an idea. Previously, I had tried this on the stainless steel business cards, which are not cheap, but it got too hot and it actually started to warp the metal. Um, that's not the fault of the laser, that's just, I had the settings cranked up. So I tried it again, and then it started to curl at the end, as you can see there. But, yeah, clearly too high power for the thinness of the material. Even this started to get a curve to it um, when I did this, and then I think when I did that too. But, yeah, and then for one more thing, I was trying to think of what to do, so I got a hammer out. I was going to try to remove that rust, but I couldn't figure a good way to mount the claw to hold it steady. So I put hammer time on there, and again, so much deeper than the infrared laser. Like, I bet I could strike a match on that. Like, that's how, that's how in there that is. Obviously, you can use this with a lot of other materials. Um, these are just the ones I tried. I'm really happy with this thing. Uh, I'm curious to see what the 100 watt variant looks like in action because that is ridiculous. Like, I genuinely want to find a match and try to strike it on that. These, this, this is my favorite laser. You can also do colors. Um, I don't know why my voice just went through puberty there. But you can figure out the different settings and do colors. It gives you some ideas in the instruction manual. But it's kind of cold and rainy out and the garage is cold. So I just called it a day here. Expect to see a lot more from this laser on this channel. Um, I've got a lot of cool ideas. I just need the time to get to them. I'm working a lot, and this week is finals. So, uh, yeah, I was a little preoccupied. Um, man, it just, and this didn't take long. This only took a couple minutes, and just in that time, like, it warped that so much. It's just crazy how powerful that laser really is. The laser does come with some safety glasses. It comes with everything you need to get going. It comes with some sample materials, as I said earlier. Um, I love it. The link will be in the description. The link will be in the sticky comment. If you have any suggestions for settings for stainless steel or for aluminum, please leave them in the comments. I'm new to fiber lasers. I'm relatively new to lasers in general. And yeah, I could use some advice. Again, this is a 20 watt comma marker B4 laser. Pretty cool. Check it out, guys. I will see you in the next video.